I am just slobbing it up. Well, I guess it's time to use that marinara. Oh yeah! We're making meatball subs. That's a spicy meatball. So we have to make our meatballs. Add ground beef, one egg, and your panade. You may be asking yourself, what's panade? Well, here's the technical answer. To put it simply, it's a slurry made from breadcrumbs and milk that binds your meatballs together. If you didn't already know, proteins release liquid, while carbohydrates hold liquid. So, the addition of the panade will keep your meatball moist as well. Next, we're gonna add some fresh parm because who doesn't like cheese in their meatballs? We don't put a ton of salt in this recipe, so the addition of cheese helps with that too. Next, we'll add some minced up onions that we murdered in the food processor, some garlic. If you're not using a microplane for your garlic, welcome to the modern world. And we'll just add our seasoning. If you're scared it's not seasoned enough, just mix this up and then cook off a piece to check. Shout out to Captain Rehab. Mix it with your hands. You wanna make sure you mix everything thoroughly. And right now you're probably saying his panade was too dry. But with meatballs especially, I like a drier panade because I want it to hold its shape. With meatloaf, wetter is better. Meatloaf has a higher chance of drying out because it's under heat way longer than these meatballs are. Not to mention these meatballs are going for a swim as well. Now just roll out your balls. <laughs> Depending on the size of your balls, you should get between 10 and 15. Now we're gonna broil these for about 10 minutes, then flip them and do it again. Here you go, look at that. Once they're done, it's time to take the kids to the pool. Daddy needs a drink. You're just gonna simmer these on low for 20 or 30 minutes, or until you're ready to eat. Just keep an eye on them, because nothing sets the mood like burnt tomato sauce and beef. I need a shower just thinking about it. Now it's time to assemble our sandwich. Butter both sides of a sub roll and then put it in the broiler until it's golden brown and delicious. Once again, keep an eye on it. I don't want you thinking you're having a stroke. Then throw some provolone on it. And guess what? We're putting it in the broiler again. Melt that stuff until it's all gooey. Time to add the meatballs. This is a great time to test the limits of physics and just pile those things on there. Then add some reserve sauce. Top with some more Parmesan cheese because you can never have enough of that. Cut it. And now it's definitely getting close to being time to eat. I guess big bites are my thing. And provolone too. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how bad I did. It's pretty good. I'm making a mess.